The second group stage of the FIBA World Cup 2023 immediately began in a dramatic fashion. I don't know what's going on with Serbia, but the Italians might be their kryptonite. Almost in the exact same fashion as they did in Eurobasket 2022, Italians managed to come back with a series of threes and erased a 16-point lead. And Serbia, but Spisu gets it, and Spisu hits another three! Polinara again for three. Are you kidding me? Attention two for one. He goes to a quick three. Three is up. Three is good. Another rebound. Gigi, corner, takes it. Oh, baby! Gigi Datome! Even though the Serbians did not have Nikola Jokic this time, they were still considered to be the favorites as Italy looked shaky in the first group stage. The Italians winning this game really made Group I so much more unpredictable. That's especially true since another favorite, the Dominican Republic, also fell in their game against Puerto Rico. Carl Anthony Towns' tournament high 39 points wasn't enough as Tremont Waters went off for 37 to keep his team's playoff hopes alive. What is now? Pulls up. Half court. Oh, baby! Now, all four teams of Group I, Serbia, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, and Italy can advance. All they need to do is win their next game on Sunday. We were close to another surprise, but the Montenegro USA box score doesn't necessarily show it. Not only Team USA lost the first half, but also they were only up by four points with three minutes to go in the fourth. This was without a doubt the toughest challenge for the Americans and Anthony Edwards so far. Ant went scoreless through the first two quarters, but showed why he is the man for this team by scoring 17 points after. And that was a quick three, it doesn't drop. Oh, look at that, can you believe it? Even more so, Lithuania Greece box score really doesn't tell the true story of the game. In the first half, Greece were looking sharp and managed to win it by 4 points. But the Lithuanians really leveled up their offense and defense, winning the second half 53-24. And perhaps the most impressive stat was Lithuanians making 15 three-pointers on 63% shooting. Dimsha got another! Well, they just Since both the US and Lithuania had three wins prior, them winning on Friday means that they advance to the quarterfinals and on Sunday will battle it out for the first place. Moving on to Group K, Germany showed once again why they should be considered as one of the favorites. Germans made a competitive Georgia team seem like no competition at all, beating them 100-73. to And for Germany... They get their fourth victory in a row here in Okinawa. Germany's victory over Georgia made the game between Slovenia and Australia even more significant for the Aussies as it now meant that they had to win or they would go home. Unfortunately, they couldn't capitalize on Luka Doncic getting his fourth foul with eight minutes left in the third quarter, despite Josh Giddy going off. Giddy driving left this time, and one! Slovenia upsetting Australia, the favorite here in the tournament. Well, at least they got a direct ticket to the Olympics and maybe we'll see Ben Simmons in Paris? Probably not. Similarly to Group J, the advancing teams are now clear and we'll see the epic fight between Germany and Slovenia for the top position. Okay, Group I had both of the underdogs winning, but Group L was different level of crazy. First of all, Latvia continues to surprise everyone. In their game against Spain, they were trailing by 11 points coming into the fourth. And honestly, at that point, I just switched off the game thinking it was over. Only to tune back in with three minutes left and see Latvia ahead against the world champions, ultimately winning the game by five. Your puts it up, doesn't get it to go, and Latvia have the win over the defending world champions. The next surprise, and I dare to say the biggest surprise of the day, came from Brazil, who managed to stop the unstoppable Canadians. Canada controlled the game in the first half, but the Brazilians started slowly clawing back in the second half and took the lead in the fourth quarter. The final dagger came from the Cervenas Vesda newcomer, Iago dos Santos. Congrats. Yago, he made oh. the last one and he makes that one. He gives Brazil a four-point lead. 
While I definitely thought that Canada and Spain would advance from this group, now only the winner between these two teams on Sunday will go to the quarterfinals. Meanwhile, on the other side, we'll see a battle of Cinderella stories as one of the underdog teams will advance with a win. Let me know in the comments who do you see advancing from group I and group L. Also check out basketnews.com for more regular updates of the World Cup, subscribe and I'll see you in the next recap.